so proud of this record. Um, I remember being in this wave of listening to like Bo Diddley, James Brown, and um, and Queen, and just like uh, this is working with Mixed Conception, just like being around live instrumentation and guitars and just and then like hanging out with other bands and like just hearing the stretching of like this this rock esh sound that was always I intriguing to me. I didn't know like if I would ever try to come across of it like on my own, but like organically it happened. And again with like uh, YU, we had uh, had a session where I'm just rapping all over the place. And originally when John sent me this beat, I had wrote this track called uh, Hesitation. And then I was like bobbing to it. I really liked that. But he found, like, and in the midst of hes hesitation, I, I had that riff. I just want to live, baby. And like I saw him like, kind of light up as we were going through. And he's like, man, that's it. That's it. But you know, artists, we get stubborn sometimes. So I was like, man, I don't know if that's it, bro. I really want to write this song called Hesitation. Because I had, I had put it all together and whatever and saw it fit. So some of the verses and the energy of hesitation meet that song. But... Uh, just cutting that one piece, that one riff, and putting it in, and then like sonically, what he did on a production value, it lifted that record. And uh, the beauty about this, it was like this one. We really took our time. Like he did a lot of work, like with without me. But once I'm hearing it, we fine tuning and putting it together. He put the pieces in because some of the verses were here. He switched it around. And then we, we, we listened to it and it's like, hey man, we maybe cut this out, maybe cut this out. And then we came back, we plugged it in. And then that's the beauty of art and just work with, with you know, the people you enjoy working with because it kind of became like a, uh, you know, like when they roll the snow, the small little snowball down the hill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Yo, that's what happened with this record. And like, man, it moves. So it, it, it was, it's interesting hearing it now because you're like, man, he went in there and did his rock thing. Yeah, I did. But, you know, I didn't like purposely go in there. But now, like, I really own it and I'm comfortable with it because I hear it and I know how I sound in the midst of it. But the energy of the record is really true. And um, this is probably like my, my COVID, I just want to scream record. Because all, all the lyrics I write, it's, it's truth in it. Uh, and it's all about expression. And to me, I, I always try to arrive at the truth of self first. You know, it's, it's, it's not selfish as an artist to try to please yourself first by all means. So. Don't get a mystery screw. Like so I try to please myself and then think about, you know, people could relate to this and how they can grow and lit and, and you know listen for it. So this song is just about man like you feeling like you're at the top. And you don't want to get complacent and settle. But at the top, you know, maybe you want to fly some more, man. Maybe you just want to fly crazy. And then like during COVID times, you really don't know what those risks are. You really don't know what you, you're supposed to do, but you know you have this energy, you're antsy. And so the energy of this song, it moves because like me, even as a kid, I couldn't be still. So this is the song where you can't be still because you have all the energy and you want to move and you want to shape. And you're trying to explain to your friends, to your lady, to your to your, your partner, your lover, whoever, that, hey, I just want to live, baby. At the top, I can't live, baby. You know, I, I feel like I'm on the run. So if you feel like you're on the run with self, you know, and there's a lot of references to um, elevators and steps. So this whole idea of evolution or uh, uh, evolving and growth and altitude. So it just depends on how you want to get there. You know, at the end, I say steps to elevators, baby, we made it. We made it. You know, sometimes you have to go up those steps to make those calves stronger. So pressing the button on the elevator is that more um, reassuring or that more pleasant because you have walked those miles. So this song, man, it moves from the beginning to the to the end. And one thing I like about this song, well, a lot of songs actually, but particularly this one, is like musically, it, it's all over the place, but it, it's still together and it's still one unit. The, the theme is it's on the run. You're moving, you're moving. And then when you're moving and you're running, you're jumping over obstacles, you're, you're breathing hard, you got to look with your side, you got to look up front, you got to look behind you. So this record just has that energy of constantly moving. And every time I hear it, I hear something different and then it's like just the, the the way my voice sounds on that hook is just like music to my ears because it's refreshing because it's like it, it, like after years of doing things in one manner or experimenting and think about this way and but finally having it come together and in this manner and, and be polished and clean is really really a good feeling 
So man, I'm extremely proud about this wreck. I really like, I can't wait to share this record to see what people think. And to me, I think that's gonna be the beauty of the green crate, the, that the idea that this crate has something for everyone. Never patient, far from waiting. Pump faking, hesitation, stakes creating, celebration, flop to the block, it's concentration.